Ellie, how do we get the word inspirational wrong? Okay, now soapbox time. No, um, the word inspire is actually taken from the Latin in and spiritus. And what it means is it actually, it actually has connotations that go back as far as when God breathed life into man. So what we're talking about when we're talking about inspired is being instilled and imbued with the staying power and the authority and the capability of carrying out what God has ordained for our lives. Mm. It's not an excited feeling that wears off when your coffee does. It is a <laughs> staying power that lasts your entire life. Mm. And as long as you are breathing, that breath in your lungs was put there by God, mm. and that means that you are inspired. What is your unique calling? God's empowered you. He's qualifying you always, and he has made you uniquely called for this specific thing. He has inspired you to that calling. It's not a feeling. It's not an right. emotion. No. It is a God-given, God-breathed attribute that fills your lungs with life yeah. so that you can take that life and do something with it. That. That's what it means to be inspired. Mm, I have a couple good. other words I want to throw at you from the book. Mm -hmm. uh, the word enthusiasm, passion, excitement. Do we misuse these words as well? We do. We do. Um, excited, first of all. You know, people, oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be great. And they connect it to happiness. Excited means to provoke a response. So for example, mm. the example we used in the book, I make soap. It's another one of my hobbies. Um, and um, <laughs> what I do is I take lye. It's a caustic substance. It'll burn a hole in your skin if you get it on you, but you heat yeah. your oils to exactly a certain degree and you wait exactly a certain amount of time and then you blend the the caustic lye with the oils and then you you blend it for a really long time with a hand beater and then you pour it in you let it cure if i'm if i'm a person and you're going to pour caustic substances on me and you're going to put lye on me you know and all these different things that's not a pleasant thing of course the oils are not people and they don't have feelings but what i'm saying is i'm not doing something that would be pleasant for uh, maybe these substances, I'm right. agitating a response to make right. something right. usable out of mm, something that right. would burn me and something that is just oil. That's good. So you're making something wow. that is usable by agitating a response. So sometimes what God does with us is not comfortable. We, we pray, oh God, you know, do, uh, do the potter thing with me. You know, oh, break yeah. me, mold me. Do you oh, know yeah. what you're asking for? Oh, and let's yeah. get Donna Howell oh, started man. on exactly what you're asking <laughs> for when you're praying that to oh, God. That's right. You're asking him to put you through a series of very uncomfortable things to yeah. incite a response from you. Passion is to love something so deeply that you are willing to choose to suffer for it. Yes. Passion yes. is not right. an excited right. romantic feeling. No. Passion means I love this so much. Yes. Well, no greater love than to lay down your life for a friend. I love this so much I will lay my life down for this ministry. I will lay my life down for, you know, this this situation. I will die to my own flesh daily yes. to see through the calling that God has given me because I'm impassioned about it. And the last one, enthusiastic, taken from Greek, en and theos, meaning owned by God. So enthusiastic, we see cheerleaders, yay, one, two, three, they're very cute, <laughs> but that's not what it means to be enthusiastic. To be enthusiastic means that you understand that God owns every moment of your life. So what we mean by this is when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do, mm -hmm. the first way you spend your moments, the, the things you do to prepare for your day, you're setting your heart straight for the day, the people you interact with, not just in your ministry, when you're wearing the I Love Jesus t-shirt, yeah. but when you're wearing an anonymous t-shirt and the guy got your coffee wrong, how are you going to act? You are owned by God every <laughs> yeah. single moment. What are you going to do with all of those That's moments? So not good. just the ones where you're standing, you know, in front of people saying, I, I do this ministry. No, no, no. 24-7 a day, 24-7 a, per day. Yes. You are owned by God. And we have to conduct ourselves as such.